Time now for your morning rush. Traffic is slow moving westbound I-40 between Albuquerque and the Route 66 Casino. A crash between two semis forced officials to shut down traffic last night, but it has since reopened. While well, this morning truck drivers are cautiously moving through the metro. Erica. And the roads are looking messy all across the state. We do have snow covered roads around Vaughn on 285. There is a lot of ice out there. We're also seeing that towards clients corners. Some spots are a little bit clearer, but take it slow as you're heading out the door. Happening right now, half of the U.S. is under winter weather advisories. This is a powerful winter storm that blasted the West with frigid temperatures and heavy snow is now making its way to the eastern U.S. Over the weekend, Seattle recorded its most snow in nearly half a century, and it is colder in Dallas, Texas than in Anchorage, Alaska. New Mexicans are enjoying the many reopenings throughout the state. This was the first weekend that restaurants in Bernalillo County were allowed to have indoor dining. Restaurants and diners said that they were thrilled to have some form of normalcy for Valentine's Day. Owners say that their restaurants were booked all weekend with very few cancellations. Several local groups were working fast to help keep the homeless warm in Albuquerque during these, this blast of winter weather. Over the weekend, Albuquerque Mutual Aid, Street Safe New Mexico, and Fight for Your Lives. And a light in the night community outreach handed out necessities to the homeless. Street Safe says they're always accepting donations. An outside team will soon oversee the Albuquerque Police Department. The journal reports that the city and the Department of Justice are in talks to hire a team of investigators. It's on a temporary basis. Now, they would assist APD internal affairs after officers use force that causes injury, hospitalization, or death. The city hopes to get the team going within the next two months. Lawmakers are looking ahead to address COVID relief now that President Trump's second impeachment trial is over. Saturday's 57 to 43 vote fell short of the two thirds majority that's needed to convict him. Lawmakers will now discuss the nearly $2 trillion plan that calls for another round of stimulus checks and a $15 minimum wage. Erica. And here's a look at the Metro Threat Index. It's going to be high for today. We have icy roads out there, especially our bridges and overpasses. Temperatures are frigid this morning, so bundle up. By later this afternoon, it'll be slightly warmer. Temps around freezing with partly cloudy skies. The State Tourism Department could soon receive a big boost. A House committee voted to pass House Bill 267 that would give $45 million to the State Tourism Department to help expand tourism business. Now, that also includes help and job recovery. The Tourism Department estimates that the state lost over $3.1 billion in visitor spending last year. This morning, the new trend shows the number of new COVID-19 cases is declining in the U.S. For the past few days, the daily number of new cases has been less than 100,000. That's the first time in months that cases have been this low. Medical experts credit the drop to wearing a mask and the rollout of vaccines. However, they warn states against softening up COVID restrictions. President Biden is calling on Congress to enact stricter gun laws to follow through with a campaign promise. The president says he wants to require a laws rather to require background checks on all gun sales and ban assault weapons, including high capacity magazines. Despite Democratic control in both chambers, it remains unclear if stricter laws will be passed. Today is President's Day. All public schools, federal and city offices are closed. A reminder trash pickup will be shifted and no mail delivery. Many places are still open but might be on a delay because of the weather. We have a list scrolling at the bottom of your screen or you can visit our website krqe.com. What well, happening today, Sandy Peak ski area will reopen. The area got at least five inches of snow over the weekend, allowing them to open a couple of chairlifts. Guests will also have to buy their tickets online in advance. A New Mexico woman is working with the CDC to investigate how diseases spread from animals to humans. The New Mexican reports that 37 year old Megan Nichols has always had a passion for animals. That passion took her to Atlanta to work with the CDC. Nichols has been the lead of an organization within the agency addressing COVID-19 with the food industry. New Day's annual benefit concert helping the homeless will be on the road this year. The 2021 version is called On the Road with Aretha. Organizer John Nichols traveled to Arizona, Texas, Louisiana, and Tennessee, filming over 25 different artists as to make a four-part series. There are only two concerts left, and this Thursday's performance takes place in New Orleans. Now let's get a look at that morning drive. There are no crashes or major slowdowns to report in the metro. Looking good aside from patchy ice. And here's a look at Tracker going west on Central near Knob Hill. Do take it slow on the roads and have a safe drive. This morning, a clear winter is emerging from the Australia Open, and it's a butterfly. The beautiful flying insect made an appearance on the court. At first, it landed on tennis star Naomi Osaka's face, then on her hand. The show-stopping moment was when the butterfly landed on her leg right here. Naomi paused the game, gently scooping up her little friend and whisking him off to safety. Always want to watch out for those butterflies. Mm -hmm. On this day, February 15th, 1990, there were strong winds across the east side of the state. Winds gusted up to 70 miles per hour on the east slopes of the south central mountains as an upper level low moved across New Mexico.
Time now for the five facts at number five this morning. A happy, much warmer New Mexico couple is likely still talking about their wedding in frigid cold temps. Isaac and Jasmine braved Saturday night's snow to get married on the anniversary of their first date. The wedding was planned a year ago. Back then, who could have predicted all of this snow in mid-February? And get this, the bride and groom chose an ice cake. Seems fitting. Number four, good news for Albuquerque skiers. Sandia Peak Ski Area will reopen this afternoon. The area got at least five inches of snow over the weekend, allowing them to open a couple of chairlifts. Guests have to buy their tickets online in advance. Officials say they will continue to watch and update snow conditions for the upcoming weekends on their website. At number three, an outside team will soon oversee the Albuquerque Police Department. The journal describes it as the police who police the police. Well, they report the city and the Department of Justice are in talks to hire a team of investigators that's on a temporary basis. They would assist APD internal affairs after officers use force that causes injury, hospitalization or death. They'll also help train. A judge must sign off on the plan and the city hopes to begin hiring that team in the next two months. Number two, the blast of winter weather led to the shutdown of a portion of I-40 after two semis crashed last night. I-40 at Atrisco Vista is back open this morning. This is what it looked like last night. Cars, semis backed up heading in and out of town, a crash between two semis forced officials to shut down both directions of traffic between Albuquerque and Route 66 Casino. This morning, traffic is moving slow through the area. Be cautious for some tricky spots. And at number one, it is a frigid morning across the state. Make sure you're dressing for it. You want to wear all of those warm winter layers. In eastern New Mexico, we do have wind chill warnings in effect until 11 to 12 o'clock. With wind chill temperatures in the negative teens and 20s, it only takes 15 to 30 minutes for frostbite to occur. So make sure that you're wearing all of those warm layers um, at least until the afternoon.